Welcome to another edition of Barnyard Golf. Today, Mark and I are going to be doing something a little different. We will be testing the Chromax Golf Balls, high visibility, advanced reflective technology. Doesn't mean they'll go further. They look like glowing tin foil oblongs. Let's see how we do. Looks like a disco ball. Let's see if they're any good. Let's see, we'll tell you how we play. Here we go, first hole. Chromax golf ball, it is bright. Let's see what we can do with it. It sounded heavy. It was different. Okay, we've got about 125. I got a nine iron out. Chromax golf ball. Let's see if we can get it on the green. Looks good. Rolling right at the hole. All right. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Here we go. Birdie putt with the Pro Max Golf Ball. Let's see what it feels like off the putter. Thing is definitely bright. It's shiny. <laughs> oh my God. It what? feels like a rock and it <laughs> found the hole. <laughs> <laughs> as he pulls his birdie out of the hole. God, this thing glows. Shiny. Look at that thing. Wow. Pretty. Hole two with the Chromax, playing 144 yards, got a seven iron out. Let's see if we can keep a good ride going. So far, the playing good feels questionable. Here we go. Right up front, still sounds real firm. Yeah, sounds solid. Like a rock. Okay, second shot, or first chip shot with these things. So far, I'm thinking they are bright, they're easy to find, they feel like rocks. Let's see what we can do. Run ball. For as heavy as that ball sounds, it doesn't run very far. You know, it was probably more me than the ball, but it's still, the feel of it's a little questionable, but you'll find out for yourself when you start hitting it. Yep. Par put. Okay, for par with the Chromax. Oh, the heavy Ooh. hitter's getting a bogey, but it just, the feel's not there. That may just take a minute. We're still rolling. Cap it in. Straight line to the hole. Okay, there you have it. A bogey with the Chromax on hole two. Here we go, third hole. Again, working with the Chromax golf ball. We're even par. So far, I um, love the look. Not so in love with the feel. Let's give it a chance. Third hole, here we go. Just stay in balance. We'll find that one. Okay, second shot on the par five. We're just hitting a five iron, trying to play position golf since we hit a bad drive. So we can do. Nice. That was actually nice. Yeah, it was. It still feels like a rock though. Yeah, it sounded like a rock, but Very you got straight and long. 114. Made a great second shot with the Chromax. Let's see if we can get one close. Got a pitching wedge. Hold it. Bounce right. Well, we'll be chipping. <laughs> okay, right. we're chipping on, so we need to get this close to try and save a par. Um, so far, this ball is a bit firm in my opinion, but some user arrow last shot. That's a nice shot. Look at this. Get in the hole! That's close. Well, you know, I may not like the way the ball feels, but three holes, I'm going to be even par when it's all set. The right? results are so speak for themselves. Didn't bring a putter, so I'm going to borrow Mark's putter to tap in for the par. The hammer. 
Dun, dun, dun. Three holes, even par, Chromax golf ball. I'm next. The next victim of the Chromax ball. Hole four, changing of the guard. What's your first impression, Mark? It's ugly, but I can hit an ugly ball. It'll be all right. Uh, maybe we found a new ball for you. I know you aimed out left, but you crushed that. Oh, I hit it pretty good. It, it sounded solid, but that thing is heavy. Feels that way, doesn't it's it? It's heavy. So how's that drive compared to your normal drive, Mark? Uh, it's comparable. It just I just felt the club flex as I hit the ball. So let's see what the irons do. Well, that looks pretty good. Pretty solid. I don't know, Mark. Maybe we do have a new ball for you, at least. You're dancing. When's the last time we did that? Uh, it's been a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Mark with a birdie putt on his first hole playing the Chromax. Oh, look at that. All right, left himself a little kinda, work. It kind of died. Mark for Paul. Oh, no. it turned. It turned. Okay, well. Mark for boat. Mark for bogey. Oh, this ball is just wants to roll, really. Well, you were looking great until you got the putting green. Until I got to the putt. Come on, ball back. Okay, a little par three action. Sounds like you hit it well, but you left it out right. Well, I hit it long, too. How'd it feel? That one didn't feel bad. That felt pretty good. Sounded good. All right, we'll hit our chip. Pulled that one way left. Oops. I don't know why I pulled it way left. Okay, Mark, for a long car putt. Got to go! Man, it doesn't... Let's, oh, follow Mark. It Let's follow Mark up here and... Watch him three putt again. Try not to do that. Ooh. I hit the cup that time. Yeah. Up, off the tee box, I don't mind the ball at all. On the uh, green, but it's still out. Wow. That's crunched. Loud off the club face, but it's crunched. Once again, I felt the club flex as it hit the ball. 118 yards. Nice, easy, 9-iron. High, drop it right in the cut. No. Stay on this side of the creek. Stay on, you go, you stopped it. Third shot, Chromax. Sounded nice, but looked long. Oh. Guess I'll give you a read. Huh? Guess I'll be giving you a read. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mark for par. Oh, that's got a shot. Look at that. Boom! Chromax, yeah. baby. Chromax, Chromax. So let's learn a little bit about the Chromax golf balls. Um, says high visibility advanced reflective technology let's take a look at the back of the box um, here's what they say high visibility technology combined with a high performance core gives players a visual performance advantage over traditional white golf balls my opinion you definitely can see the ball better what do you think mark yeah we spotted that thing from a long way off 
Revolutionary translucent Serlin cover reflects sunlight, making Chromax easier to see. That's the part I agree with. Agreeable. Core performance simple pattern optimizes distance control and feel for golfers of all skill levels. Yeah, I'm going to say no to that one. I'm going to say the book is still out. All right, I'm going to say no. It felt good off the irons. I didn't like it off of most everything else. I liked it off the driver, not the putter. Choose the Chromax color that reflects your best game. Well, they are bright. Uh, we have the bright lime greens, but from looking online, they got a lot of interesting colors. And it does conform to the USGA and Royal and Ancient rules for worldwide tournament play. Low compression blend core for softer feel. I don't agree with the softer feel. No, feels like a cue ball. I agree with the patented reflective coating for optimal visibility. Mm -hmm. And the soft serling cover, again, I'm gonna say no to that personally, but. Show them the different colors. Oh, here's a list of all the colors, if you can see it. Um, Chromax golf ball. You know, my verdict, probably not for me, but if you like a cool looking golf ball, these may be the coolest colors on Amazon. Good point. Well, let's roll on. See you. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Robert and Mark here. Comment, subscribe, like. If you tried the Chromax golf ball, what do you think of it? Not my cup of tea. Mark's still 50-50 on it. Yeah. I'm going to say, you know, for me, um, just a little bit too firm. Text us your favorite color. Yeah, text, comment on your favorite color. They got a nice selection. Well, for now, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Robert and Mark signing out. See you, people.